As Gorilla Monsoon says, there's a special development in the world of wrestling. Andre the Giant has been reinstated. <laughs> no. They actually said his suspension has been suspended. That, that came up later, but yes, yes, yes. So we go to some guy. Yes. In London, England. Yeah. This was so bizarre because yes. this guy, they they found some guy with an English accent, okay? Well, there was in London. There's lots of Well, I'm getting to that. <laughs> so they find some guy with an English accent, and he's explaining that Andre's suspension has been suspended. Yes. Okay? And as he's saying this, I'm, like, looking in the background, and there's, like, you know, Big Ben or whatever. And I'm like, this is the worst fucking blue screen I've ever seen. This guy, they, like, got a picture of somewhere in London, and they put this guy in front of a green screen, and they made sure he had an accent so we would think it's real. And I'm like, God, they fucking worked everything back then. And then all of a sudden, he's going to introduce Andre. And so the fucking camera zooms out, and this fucking guy is in London. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... I've never seen... A guy somewhere where it looks so fake. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if there was like a cloud over them or something, but like the background looked totally different from the foreground. There was no sunshine on the guy, even though it seemed to be a blue sky. It looks so fucking fake. And then all of a sudden I realized it's actually, he's actually there. It was so bizarre. And then Andre shows up and they discuss how his... Suspension has been suspended. They say that. They say uh, Andre is there to be interviewed. He had a tough time being away. But he has a big surprise for all the fans. Happy to be back in the ring against anyone, anywhere. I had to turn on the closed captioning because sometimes Andre is uh, hard to understand. And every time he said WWF, the closed captioning would say WWE. Wow. <laughs> yeah. so. That's actually funny. We are joined in progress, which happened several times in the show. Iron Mike Sharp and Barry O and Brian Costello versus Tito Santana and Pedro Morales and Hillbilly Jim. The two things to note about this match are, first of all, Gorilla kept referring to Randy Orton's uncle as Barrio. One word. Spanish for neighborhood. Perhaps he can team with Tito Santana and Pedro Morales. And the other is that Gorilla is super excited. Super excited. About the return of Andre the Giant. Yeah. He, he, he actually said these words. I'm excited. <laughs> well, I've never heard Gorilla Monsoon say that ever. I didn't really believe him all that much. Well, he but said he said it. the words. And then he pauses, waiting to hear Bobby the Brain Heenan's thoughts. Keep in mind, Andre was suspended during his feud with Bobby Heenan and his men. Yes. And Heenan immediately changes the subject. Yes. That should come up later on the yes. show. Hillbilly Jim tops out, taps out Costello with a bear hug, and Gorilla Monsoon declares, This threesome is unbeatable! <laughs> Not sure that's true. It was a it was a fine little match. Started in progress. That was kind of weird. The wrestler's rebuttal is all about Bobby Heenan and King Harley Race being very upset that the King is not on the cover of WWF magazine. But and Heenan vows <laughs> he will be on that cover. Like, and I was like, oh. this is fucking stupid. And I thought about it more. I was like, you know, wrestlers all have giant egos. I have seen dumber reasons for wrestlers to get upset. Well, not only that, but like back then, to be on the cover of a wrestling magazine on a was newsstand. A, a gigantic fucking deal. <laughs> so I can see the king being upset that he was not on the cover of that magazine. He looked upset. He's he, standing he, there. Well, he always kind of looks like that. <laughs> I was true. upset that he didn't cut a promo because a couple of weeks ago, he got a pretty fucking great promo. If that guy was really mad about not being on the cover, which I highly doubt he was, I'll bet he could have done a good promo on it. I bet you are right. The Hockey Talk Man, he couldn't believe it was true, so he went to Jack Tony's office, the big fat man's office. He counted all the votes. He counted 770,000 votes by hand. And he came up short. <laughs> he went Him one. Him and Elgore, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two. 770,000. Wow. And he's disgusted because it meant he kissed all those babies with puke in their mouths. 
He shook every greasy hand, and he still lost the vote because you people don't appreciate me. So, in fact, we basically saw two shows where the Honky Tonk Man was a babyface, and that's why nobody ever remembers him being a babyface. It was two shows, and then he turned heel. I believe he was so upset, he said it, he said he was going to start slapping baby, slapping babies. He's going to slap some babies and hit some bleep. You know what he, You know what they bleeped? I do not. I do, because I read his lips. Okay. He said, I'm going to slap some babies and hit some women. Oh. oh. They bleeped out. You can't say that, you know. Mm-hmm. They bleeped out, hit some women. They may have said it in 1986, but not now, obviously. Yeah. He can be as mean and na- as nasty as anyone else. You, you deserve it, he says. He, he also promised a surprise. This next segment was a complete train wreck. <laughs> Mick Foley's in the ring. Who? You know him. <laughs> I know him. It's Mick Foley. It's Mick Foley. Now, at the time, he was wrestling as Jack Foley. Mm-hmm. And... I believe there was even a Jack Foley graphic. Mel Phillips got that name right. Yep. Then introduced him at 100, 147 pounds. Gorilla is appalled. <laughs> he cannot tolerate this gross incompetence. Did he say 147 pounds? That's not right. No, it was actually... I'm here to tell you that Kirk Hoffman weighs 253 pounds. <laughs> Kirk Hoffman. And later it was Kurt Hoffman. Yes, so Kamala comes out. It sounded to me like Mel Phillips was doing the ring introduction. And he said, weighing in at 100. And then there was like a, a, the briefest pause where he realized, I said 100. <laughs> and so in a split second, his brain made a thousand computations. Should I start over again? Should I barrel on through? It's taped. Why don't I just fucking say it again? Well, I don't want Vince to be mad at me. Maybe he won't notice. He's probably sleeping. So he announced him at 147 pounds. And uh, I think Gorilla's actual response was highly unlikely. (laughs) That's probably what he said. (laughs) And then he starts talking about Kurt Hoffman. And I didn't hear him at that point say Kurt Hoffman. I was still laughing about highly unlikely and, and the fact that, you know, Mick Foley weighed just slightly more than I do right now. And so they start doing this match. And uh, it's quick. And I believe Kamala went up top and he squashed him. Mm -hmm. And that's when I heard Gorilla say, well, that's it for Hoffman. And I went, what? (laughs) Who? (laughs) What are you talking about? And then Kamala gets the pin and he just lays on the guy. And Foley's selling. "Eh." And Gorilla goes, look at Kirk Hoffman. He's surely gotten broken ribs. And I'm like, who the fuck is Kirk Hoffman? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? And so, like, for the entire match, nobody had any idea who Mick Foley was. No. Nope. Thank God he got pinned in, like, 30 seconds and got to just go home. Yeah. But, fuck, what a disaster this was. <laughs> so the 147-pound was... Kirk Hoffman Foley One... pinned by Kamala. She so had 147 pounds. You had Gorilla going back and forth between Kirk Hoffman and Kurt Hoffman, both of which are wrong. He also referred to Kamala's handler as Chip Chi. Mm. No one did their jobs here right except Foley and Kamala. I feel like last week when Craig was talking about the show and how he got the lineup, but then it was all mixed up. So, like, Gorilla probably got the lineup, and then they did some shuffling backstage, but he did not uh, care. Like, my sheet says this is Kurt Hoffman. This is Kurt Hoffman. Well, I mean, to be honest, if you're Gorilla Monsoon, and this fucking ring announcer messes up the guy's weight, you're going to presume he probably messed up his name. Yes. I'm sure he was thinking, this is Mel Phillips, Christ, can't get anything right. 147 pounds, he's called him Jack Foley. It says right here, Kirk Hoffman. So yes, Foley is treachered out. We then go to Ken Resnick, who's interviewing Bobby Heenan, wants to know what he paid for Hercules' contract. The brain correctly says, that's none of your business. He goes, I'll be honest with you. It's none of your business. Mm -hmm. Hercules steps in, says Heenan has bought him the best trainers, the best food, the best conditions. Money is no object when it comes to Hercules. And Heenan puts over, speaking of bodybuilding, went over Hercules' great physique, his chest, his abs, his shoulders, his arms. He's all very muscular and large. So we had a match where Foley was stretched out. 
We had this interview segment. Surely, in 1986, there was then a commercial break. Then we come back. They are still scraping Foley off the canvas and stretching him out of the ring. Well, God damn, he got squished by Kamala's coming off the top every week now. Vinny is the YWF World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. You want the thumb wrestling because of your, your judo practitioning and a very strong grip strength you and have. My, your my, tendon strength. My massive musculature. Sure, huh? sure. And then Vinny won uh, musical chairs. Yes. Because of his large ass. Dominant size and girth. I've never seen such a height disparity in living people. Final match was Oreo stacking. I won't lie, I got cocky. It was very close. Yes, I got cocky and I lost. You did get to chop John. He was a good sport. He took seven chops. He took seven chops, which was... They mostly sucked. I don't think that's true at all. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.